What's good, YouTube and Life Gainers? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. Sexy as hell, host of the Life Gains channel, bringing you guys your streaming entertainment and your life gain for the day. I'm back on Assassin's Creed Origin. This is going to be part two of my walkthrough, and this is it. I'm still feeling the same way I felt about Assassin's Creed when I tried it years ago. I'm not really feeling it, but I'm going to finish this walkthrough. And we're talking a little bit about what's going on in the news. And once again, we've got an allegation of someone sexually advancing themselves, trying to put something in the dookie shoot. This time, it's a man-on-man -man action. And I'm talking about Mr. House of Cards himself, Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey is one of those cats that we've always kind of wondered, was he gay? You don't see him around many women, that type deal. But allegedly 30 years ago, he tried to put his you-know-what on a 14-year-old. And in case you missed the story, take a quick look at this clip. And then you will also see the fallout on social media after the way Kevin Spacey tried to handle his business. No pun intended. Take a look. We're going to pause the game for a quick second. As you can see, the allegations was made. Kevin Spacey came out and said he didn't remember it. And then all of a sudden, my man gonna say he's gay. <laughs> and you saw where social media drug his ass through the mud. The LGBT community wasn't having it. They was mad as hell with him for trying to deflect coming out gay to overcome him trying to make romantic overtures on a 14 year old. And there's a lot of people that voted for Donald Trump because they wanted to make America great again. And some of them thought that making America great again was going back to the day where you could do this type of crap in terms of just messing around with women. If she dresses too slutty, that means she wants it. But I don't think they really meant this about messing around with underage kids. I mean, my God, let's have some tack about this. So, of course, Netflix came out in a scamper and said that they was going to cancel House of Cards, which has been one of Mr. Spacey's biggest shows. And then today they came out and said that they was going to cancel the show anyway, but they're filming season six right now. Oh, well, they have stopped that shit. Ain't no season six being filmed no more. And that last little pic where you saw Kevin Spacey waving, could that possibly be him waving his hand goodbye? I want to know what you guys think. Of course, this is an accusation. I don't think that his accuser is going to pursue any legal actions. And if he did, you know, it'd be kind of tough to have evidence of it. But I don't really see Kevin Spacey denying it. He just said he forgot it. 
which you know could lead you to believe that hey his ass did do something but what do you guys think can he make a comeback from this or is this pretty much the end of his career or were you a fan of um the show house of cards and it was probably time for them to come to an end because no matter what they do on that show as my man said on the brad and brit podcast today the show ain't got no more legs anyway because the crazy stuff that president does has no comparison to the shit Donald Trump is doing in office. I mean, that right there is reality TV. And in case you've been under a rock this week, Mueller, the one that's doing the investigation, indicted some people and dropped a couple of blah, a couple of bombs on us, some new names, Garoppolo, whatever the hell his name was, and that Gates guy. We all knew about Paul Manafort. We already knew that there was going to be some tie-in with that. But the other two names, nobody was really expecting. And that took the Trump White House by storm. There was reports that, damn, they had to close the White House because, damn, TVs was being thrown out of the second floor window and shit. Trump was mad as hell about this whole thing. And I think that it's only a matter of time before Trump is going to have to bow out but my biggest fear is that he is going to try to scorch the earth as he gets cornered and is closer and closer to being in trouble. And this part right here on this video game made me mad as hell. This little hippo ain't supposed to be this agile, this mobile. I mean, dang, dude. Well, that's what's going to happen with Trump. Homeboy going to get all mad when this thing gets closer to him and he might just start doing crazy as hell stuff. Folks, keep your eyes on the prize. Watch what's going on. Make sure you stay informed so that you don't got to deal with any of the backlash that our crazy president is going to try to do because he's going to try to do something. And I would bet you a lot of money that Mueller has already seen Trump's taxes because the way that they was laundering this money was they was super inflating the price of real estate. And if that is in Trump's taxes that he's got you know, money coming from banks and Cambodia, Switzerland, and places like that. I mean, that's just not a good sign for the president. And I think he already knows what's going on, but he just kind of got put in the situation of being the president. He won the race, and you can't take that away from him, even though it's starting to come out now that the way he won basically was cheating. But the race still should not have been this close, even with the best cheating, for this guy to win. You know, that just set an ugly precedence in this country. And hopefully, as we've been seeing by his poll ratings, people have started to wake up and they're not tolerating that mess. And they're starting to come over and see that, you know what, I might have voted for anarchy, but anarchy is definitely not what I want. So that's going to conclude this video, or at least my commentary. I'm going to finish this game out. Y'all can continue to watch the walkthrough. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there, get yourself a life game. As far as Assassin's Creed, if you like the game, try it. I'm, I'm done with it. I've tried all of them. And I've never really liked them all. I like this one in the very first 10 minutes, but I mean, I'm kind of through with it now. So let me know how you're feeling about Assassin's Creed. Let me know how you're feeling about Kevin Spacey. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.
great content on my channel, please take your cursor, click the subscribe button. If you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video, click the little bell. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can click this button. If you want to connect with me on my other social media, I got a button for you here, a button for you here. And if you're one of those people that want to make a donation, donations can be made through my Patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains. You can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by life. Gains.